Brain hemorrhage is rupture of vessels supplying blood to brain. When an artery bleeds into brain, oxygen and necessary nutrients are unable to reach brain cells. Further brain damage can occur because of pressure buildup in surrounding tissues. There are two main type of hemorrhages: intracerebral hemorrhage. Intracerebral hemorrhage occur when there is bleeding from the blood vessels within the brain. In addition to the common stroke risk factors, the unique risk factors of intracerebral hemorrhages are hypertension. High blood pressure is one of the most common cause of hemorrhagic stroke or brain hemorrhage. Cerebral cavernous malformation. Cerebral cavernous malformation occurs when blood vessels do not form correctly in the brain and bleed more easily. This group of tiny blood vessels is called lesion. If the lesion bursts and bleed into the brain, it can cause stroke. AVM or arteriovenous malformation. It is a disorder where group of blood vessels form incorrectly, leading to an unusually tangled web. AVM are rare but may cause hemorrhagic stroke. Dural AV fistula or dural arteriovenous fistulas. It occurs when abnormal connection form between artery and vein within the dura or outer membrane of the brain. These are typically formed after an injury or spontaneous. Dural AV fistula can cause blood clot to form and lead to stroke. Second cause of brain hemorrhage is subarachnoid hemorrhage or SAH. It occurs when there is bleeding in between the brain and the membrane that cover the brain called the meninges. This area is referred to as subarachnoid space. In addition to common stroke risk factors, the cause of subarachnoid hemorrhage often are cerebral aneurysm. Uh, it is a bulging weakened area in the wall of blood vessels of the brain. Aneurysms can continue to increase in size and progressively weaken the artery wall. If it bursts, uncontrolled bleeding may occur. So what are the warning signs of brain hemorrhage? The warning signs are sudden, severe headache, typically described as first headache of life, confusion, unresponsiveness, weakness of upper limb or lower limb, speech problem, and recurrent vomiting.